Hello, I am here to show you how to draw two of Jason Fleming's characters, Dr. Jekyll from LXG and Azazel from X-Men First Class. What you need is a drawing pad, pencils to draw on the pad, and you will also need an eraser to erase all your mistakes, and you will also need a pencil sharpener to keep your pencils sharp and fine. You will also need some reference pictures of the characters. Here you will be drawing out the basic shapes of the characters. Just draw in light lines to draw out the shapes of their heads and shoulders and if you make a mistake you always have the eraser to erase them away. So just draw lightly and just draw out the basic shapes. Here, you will be drawing out the lines to mark down where the character's eyes, ears, mouth, and nose will be located on their heads. This is very helpful when you have to eventually draw the features. Now, I don't have to make this exactly like the reference pictures. I always draw in a somewhat anime style, which is close enough, but I'm putting my own spin on the image. Here I am just drawing out the shape of the ears and the eyes on both of these characters. As Jekyll, Jason's ears actually do stand out quite a bit, and with Azazel his ears are partly covered by his wig. So I have to follow the reference pictures to mark out where their ears are, and then I just draw out the basic outline of their eyes. Once I am done with the ears and the eyes, I just draw brief lines to shape out the noses and mouths. Jason Fleming's nose is what I call a hawk beak nose, so it's easy to just draw a V shape for his nose. Here I am just doing more refined details of the faces. Jason Fleming has these creases under his eyes and around his mouth, which I have to draw out because I want to make sure this matches the reference picture as close as possible. Also, because his nose is what I call a hawk beak nose, I have to draw a line down his nose to show that nice downward curve of the shape. And this will help when I'm actually shading in the pictures for later. Like I said before, I always draw in a somewhat anime-inspired style, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the reference picture, 
but still close as possible that you can still tell who it is. Here I am just determining the shape of their clothes and drawing out their hairstyles. Now they are wearing different outfits and while Jekyll has these sideburns, Azazel has a goatee and wild hair. And even though it's different, I still want this to show that it's still the same guy. Here I am shading in the character of Dr. Jekyll. I have to make sure that I shade in his hair and his sideburns to create the texture of hair. Now his clothes are pretty dark and the reference picture has a lot of shadows. So it's a little more challenging to shade in all of his clothes because his outfit pretty much blends in with the shadows of the picture. However, if I just go on layer by layer, it should be able to build up with the more darker shades. Moving on to Azazel, he almost has pretty much the same coloring as Jekyll, except his skin is red. Also, Azazel has these scars on his face, so I want to make sure that they're shaded so they're more defined. And again, I must create the texture of hair by shading in layer by layer, and I will do the same for Azazel's outfit, which is also black but at least the lighting in his reference picture is a lot better and I can see where his outfit begins and ends. Azazel here has a lot darker eyebrows than Jekyll and I have to make sure those are a little more darker than Jekyll's eyebrows. Also, Azazel has a tail, which will also be shaded in this tutorial. As I shade in, I always start off light and then I get darker as I go along. I always have the different shades of pencils to use. I always start off with the more lighter ones when I have to do the more lighter shadows, but as I get deeper, I will use the more darker tones. Shading in the faces is quite difficult. With Jekyll, there's a lot of shadows, and I have to be careful not to overdo it. 
with the Zazel, the lighting is a lot better, and I can easily see where the shadow begins and ends on him. And I just go in layer by layer. Here I am going to finish the last few details of the characters. Azazel has a tail, so I drew it in, coming up over his shoulder, just like in the reference picture. And here I am just shading it in, just layer by layer, just to show all the shadows. And because I am using just my graphite pencils, I just want to show the shades and not use any colors. Here, I am just finishing up all the fine details, making sure I am okay with all the shading and the texturing. Then, I just sign my work to indicate it is completed. And, voila! Thank you.